Hi, and welcome to a demo of the Ngati chatbot. Today I'm going to show you how you can train your chatbot so it can respond to FAQs better. There are two different perspectives available to add query variations and responses, and I'll go over both today. I've created a short demo where I'm a vendor trying to identify what type and color of phone the chatbot user wants. I will display how the flow works and show how the bot can be trained using both the methods that I mentioned previously. Let's test the bot. Here the bot asks me which phone I prefer as well as the color. It's pretty simple flow. Let's take a look at some of the FAQs that are associated with this chatbot. There are currently three different responses along with a couple different questions associated for each one. If I wanted to test the bot internally as well as have the opportunity to train the bot, I can click the button up here. I'm provided a graphical user interface where I can type the questions that I have and test to see the response that the chatbot provides. Let me try asking who are you? The chatbot responds, I'm Enbo. What is your name? Now there's currently no match found because this question doesn't have the appropriate response matched already. Let's change that. If I look here, what is your name is a question that I'd asked. Let's add some alternatives. Name. What are you? So we would like to match these questions with a particular response. I can add that here. I am Enbo. Now if I click the button train, I'll have trained the chatbot to be able to respond to those particular questions. I'm given a notification that the training has been completed successfully. Let's test it. Now if I ask, what is your name? I can see I'm Enbo. What are you? I'm Enbo. Great. Let's make sure that this is working in the live chatbot as well. Here now if I was to ask, what is your name? I can see I'm Enbo, which is the exact response that we provided. Now if I wanted to take a look at all the questions that have been asked by users to the chatbot, I can do that by navigating to FAQ Analytics. Here, I can take a look at all the questions that have been previously asked to the bot, as well as the closest match to an existing question in the database. The answer that's provided is shown here, as well as something called a match score. The match score varies between 0 and 1. The higher the number is, the more confident the chatbot is in answering that particular question. The threshold for a question being displayed is 0.4. Now let's try asking the chatbot some questions which I know are not in the database, like who is your vendor? Now it displays I'm Enbo. Let's take a look at why that is. If I go back to the FAQ Analytics page and I refresh, now I can see who is your vendor being asked. That's matched with the question, who are you, for a match score of 0.66, which is not very high. Let's train this so this particular question can be answered better. I can click the button train here, and now I can see the question, who is your vendor. Let's add some variations, like vendor. Who is your seller? And now the current response is I am Enbo, which we don't want. Let's add a new response. I am selling on behalf of Ngati. Now I can add this question. If I was to go back to the FAQ page within the build category, I can now see this question being added here. Vendor, who is your seller and who is your vendor? I'm selling on behalf of Ngati. Let's take a look at how this looks over here. Now if I was to ask the question, who is your vendor? 
I see the response I'm selling on behalf of Engati. This was a short demo of how to train your bot. Stay tuned for more updates and videos that show the features of the chatbot. Thank you for your time, and I hope you build bots on Engati.